So I wanted to build a few dwarf miniatures from Citadel that I've had laying around since 1996. Here's the only one I had painted in the meantime. Only thing was I wanted them to have spears instead of these huge axes, so I need to do some conversion work. It's very likely most people will not have the same parts that I used. Most sensible people won't for sure. But I figured this would be a good way to show someone who is new to kit bashing how to make a simple swap. The axe handles are pretty long, and other dwarven spears are pretty stubby, so I figured if I cut off the axe heads and replace them with a spear head from another kit, it would work out just fine. So I cut the parts out of the sprue and scraped off the modelings. Then I start cutting the axe heads down. The paper towels are so I wouldn't flatten parts of the piece while pushing down on it. Now, in theory, you could cut them off in one piece, but separating the head and the shaft with a perfect 90 degree cut would be tricky. So I left some material at the top, which I could then file down. To do that, I had to cut the blades off first, and then cut a chunk out of the bit in the middle. I used an emery board to file the top of the shaft down perfectly flat and perpendicular to the handle. You have to go gently here because you don't want to take off too much material and turn the piece off so you can make sure it's flat from every angle. For spearheads, I picked this variety from the Citadel Empire State Troops kit from the early 2000s. This specific one is chunky and the proportions feel better with the dwarves than the finer spearheads in the same kit. When you're cutting these, be careful because they will fly if you apply too much force. If you slice gently, you should avoid losing any parts. Just like the handles, I cut it long and went at it with an emery board to get it nice and flat. You really want to take your time here because crooked spears look stupid, especially on dwarves who are all about superior dwarven craftsmanship. You can get away with a slight angle, but the more precise you are, the easier it will be later. To stick the spears to the shafts, the only real option is polystyrene cement. There really isn't enough space to drill for a pin and super glue is far too fragile. Luckily, both parts are plastic, and since the cement lightly melts it, it creates a welded joint that is extremely strong. To apply it, I squeezed some out and applied it with a toothpick. The surface area is really small, so even the droplet you get out of the bottle is too large. Here you really need to take your time and make sure that everything is aligned properly. Don't rush, you have some working time. If you made any small mistakes with the filing, you should still be able to get a straight joint here because of the melting effect. Just go slowly and carefully in proper dwarven fashion. Then you just need to repeat everything a bunch of other times so you have an entire unit. I'm not going to lie, the size of the parts made this extremely fiddly. But as long as you go slowly, it is not especially difficult, even if you have sausage fingers like me. Now I'll be off to paint these guys soon, so watch out for the progress pictures in the community tab. In the meantime, take care and catch you soon. Bye!